Okay, you guys, so here are all my supplies that I'm going to be using to make my deer head. Here I have a 16 by 20 blank canvas that I got from Michaels. It was regular price $19.99 and I got it for half the price for $10 for a pack of five, which I thought was pretty good. And here I have a gold sharpie, some sealant, that's clear uh, sealant that you see there. And then I have some gold glitter. You can use any color glitter that you want. And I have some acrylic paint that's black. I have a paintbrush, a pencil, a ruler, some blue tape, and some Elmer's glue. And these are the supplies I'm going to be using. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to create my stripes. Okay, here's the next step. Because I wanted stripes, I marked off two inch wide stripes onto my canvas with my pencil. But if you guys want a chevron pattern, which I think is fun, you can also do a chevron pattern as well. As you can see, I already marked it off. And here with my ruler, I just marked off two inches. That's it. And I just went up along two inches, two inches. That's all I did. And after I paint, or I'm sorry, after I tape everything, I'm going to get my black acrylic paint and I'm just going to start painting. Paint where the, uh, where the white is. And just, you know, nice long strokes. Just paint it. And you may want to put maybe two or three coats on it to get it, you know, really dark and then let it dry. Okay, my canvas is all done and it's dried and it's to the side for me to show you the next step. The next thing you want to do is, here is a deer head that I got. And all I did was Google deer head silhouettes. And they have hundreds of them. I mean, a gazillion of them that you can choose from. Just pick an image that you want and print it. Now, if it's not big enough, you can always, you know, zoom it by 20 or 40% on your printer. If that's not big enough, you may have to take it to a professional place to have it, you know, enlarge. That's if you want a real big canvas. So that's what I did here. So I had got mine a little bigger, as you can see, to fit my canvas. And all I did here, is, as you can see, is I had traced it on some cardstock that you see here. I got it from Family Dollar, it was what, three, four dollar, and I traced it on two here. Now I'm showing you this for demonstration uh, purposes, but I didn't do that because my paper that I printed mine on was a little stiff because you want it kind of stiff enough where you you know it could hold to the canvas where you can trace around it and without it moving. Another tip too is you may want to tape the back of your deer head so that it won't move while you have it on the canvas. So let me show you the canvas and what I've done next. So here it is. It's all done. Well, it's not all done, but I have it all traced out for you. Remember that gold sharpie? That's what I used to you know, to trace the deer head so that you can see it a little better while you're putting your glue on because it's kind of hard to see uh, see it with pencil. And also, the gold Sharpie gives it a, a sharper edge, so they highly recommend that you use a Sharpie when you're doing it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding my glue around the edges, and I'm using, you know, the Elmer's glue, which is perfect because it has like a tip to it where you could, you know, pretty much, you know, maneuver it pretty well around the deer head and then I'm going to add some glitter and then I'm going to show you guys how it all looks. Okay everyone, I'm all done and this is how it turned out. After I finished tracing the deer head, I had added my glue and dusted a little gold glitter on and after you, you know, put the glitter onto the glue, you want it to sit for at least three to four hours or longer. I let mine sit overnight to make sure that the glitter will stick to the glue and then when it was all dried then I had sprayed some of that clear adhesive that I had showed you earlier to seal in the glitter to make sure the glitter doesn't fall off and be all over the house so I think it turned out pretty good as you can see I'm starting to decorate a little a little bit for Christmas and this is one of the campuses that I have made now I have more to show you but you're gonna have to wait and check back with me and see what I have a uh, created <laughs> and I, I won't disappoint you I promise you and I wanted to show you this little bell that I sh that I got from Home Goods about a couple of weeks ago it's a deer head bell it is adorable it was $7.99 at Home Goods and I, th I just thought it goes perfect here with this deer head now like I said I want you guys to check back with me and if you want to check my blog at be my guest with Denise.com I'll have steps to show you how I made this Trust me, you guys, it is super, super, super easy. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.